What's up everybody? My name is Matt and I have been working a ton in this new room. As you can see, we got everything insulated and I didn't realize the tons and tons of work I would have to do before I could even get to the point where I can install drywall. But anyway, we're finally here. I got a couple friends over to help me out today and yeah. All right, so we actually got all of the drywall done in one day, so I'm really thankful for my friends who are willing to come and help me out. So it's definitely starting to look more like a room and less like a garage. But again, I've been putting a ton of hours into this room and I haven't had the camera rolling the whole time. You know, when I'm having setbacks or when a certain project is being really difficult, I just wanna put my head down and get it done and not have to worry about you know, getting the right camera angle or setting up a tripod or making sure the batteries are charged. But I felt kind of bad for not uploading for a while, so that's why I'm making this video, just to show you guys my progress along the way. So first I need to tape texture and float these walls, and this will be my first time doing this, so it'll be interesting to see how well it turns out. And then I wanna sand down some of this dated swirl texture on the ceiling. Not that I think it'll matter that much, because eventually I do wanna get some acoustic panels in here to help with the echo. Of course, once it's actually furnished in here and we have carpet and furniture and all that, there'll be a lot less echo already. And then I need to install a door here. That'll be a first for me as well. And then I do have a good carpet guy, so I'm not gonna be doing the flooring myself. He's gonna be doing that. And then of course, one of the most important things is the air conditioner, but this has a wall mounted unit, so I can't put that in until the walls are all done. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so I finally finished sanding the entire ceiling. And man, I should really start making some t-shirts or something that say, well, that took longer than I expected. All right, so this is my first time finishing drywall, so I'm gonna be learning as I go, and it's gonna be fun. Dude, I don't even know like how thick or thin this is supposed to be, but I'll figure out, I guess. Let's start with some nails to practice. Yes, quite the learning curve, yes. There we go, there we go. All right, I have no idea what I'm doing, but does it at least look like I know what I'm doing? Because that's what counts. Let's try some tape now, I guess. I feel like I got comfortable with the screws and then with the tape, it's right back to not knowing anything again. All right, first joint done. What you think? Um, I got a couple more to do, but uh, whatever. I also learned after we put the drywall up that the factory sides dip a little bit to help you make a nice flat joint, whereas when you cut them, they don't. So I should have put the factory edges in the middle and put the cut side in the corner, but I'm learning as I'm going. All right, update. So the very first joint I did, smooth as can be, no sanding required, complete beginner's luck. The second joint I did, I let my compound dry out on me, so I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have to go back and sand it. But when I went back and sanded it, it turned out all right. So I started being less of a perfectionist on every joint, and I just kind of went through, made as good as I could, and then went back and sanded it after. So as of right now, all the horizontal and vertical joints are done. I'm working on the corners, and I have to do the corners all up on the ceiling. And then I also have to finish up all the, the thingies. <laughs> Then I also have to finish up the corners on this window. And then I'm gonna try to do a smooth finish on everything. If it doesn't work out, then I'll do some texture spray, but we'll see how it goes. All right, 
so it's time to finally start texturing this wall and I think I already mentioned it but I've been making this video over a span of a few weeks so I'm kind of fuzzy on what I've said and haven't said so far. And again, I want to do a smooth finish on here but this is the first time I'm doing drywall so I watched a couple tutorials and I'm gonna try to do what they do. Sometimes people do it, it looks so easy on their video and then you try it and it's the hardest thing in the world. So I'm gonna try that right now on this wall and if it comes out good, great. If it comes out bad, I might go with the regular kind of texture. All right, so so far I've probably done what, like three square feet of this. Um, it's really hard, it's really slow going, but it is coming out fairly smooth, so. I'm just hoping I can find a technique to go a little bit faster. All right, so I got the first skim coat finished over here. And if you look real close, it's still a little rough looking. I was gonna do a second coat and then sand it all smooth. But that first coat was a huge pain. It took a long time to do. I was all sore afterwards. And it was just a ton of work. And I was thinking, man, is there like another way to do this? So I went back to YouTube and I'm finding that everybody does drywall their own way. You know, some people say, oh, you have to do it this way. When someone else says, never do it that way, do it this way. And so one video I saw, they said, you know, when it's like this, they said, oh, never paint it like that. It'll show through the paint. And after I did this first skim coat, I saw a video where they left it like that and they just painted it with primer first and then did their color paint and it looked great. And I was like, man, that would be a lot less work. So they actually just, like widened and flattened out these joints here. So, so I went ahead and tried that on this wall and that took up way less time. It's coming out great. This is just one coat right now. I need to do one more, but I sanded it a little bit just to see and it's super smooth on that wall. So I'm gonna be doing that moving forward. Of course, I do need to still finish up that wall and I do need to skim coat the ceiling since I was getting rid of the texture up there. But man, just figuring out how to do all these things for the first time, there's definitely been a ton of growing pains throughout this project. But eventually I figured things out and things are turning out nice so far. I haven't had any major setbacks. So I'm gonna get this back wall done, get the AC installed, and I do have a date for the carpet guy that's coming up in a couple weeks here. So I need to get all the walls finished. Once the carpet's in here, I could start moving in furniture, start moving in PCs. So I'm real excited for that, but I still got a lot of work to do. But it's been like a month since the last time I uploaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed those of you who asked me, you know, you want to see the whole process as I finish this room out. But the end is in sight. So hopefully soon we'll be able to kick back in this room, play some games, make some YouTube videos, and I'm excited for that. So yeah, that's it, and I'll see you in the next one.